G'day, Nigel McGill here. Some people have been asking me about ligatures, so I thought I'd have a quick chat with you today about uh, ligatures in our daily saxophone tip. There's lots, it's quite confusing, there's lots of different styles of ligatures and it's hard to know what the difference is and which one to go for, right? So most of us are familiar with the standard sort of ligature which looks a little bit like this. A standard metal uh, loop with two screws. That's a normal kind of ligature and yeah, they work great, you know, that's the kind of ligature that comes with most saxophones as a standard thing. Uh, but a lot of people uh, prefer to use ligatures that look like this. Now this is, there's a bunch of different brands of ligatures like this. Um, I use one made by Rovner, but there's lots of different brands. And this sort of ligature is made with a fabric strap around and a single screw at the top. The main reason to go between something like this and something like this is that in my opinion, it frees up the vibration of the reed, which enables you to get a bigger, rounder sound, a nicer sound. Now, if you're playing classical saxophone or, or jazz, or it doesn't really matter what sort of style, if you want to get a wider range of sounds out of your mouthpiece, then something like this might be the solution for you. But there's other things to consider as well. I mean, there's, there's really, you can spend as much money as you want on ligature. There's some very, very fancy ones. Uh, if you have a look around on the internet. Another common style you might see is something like this. This is a sort of ligature that comes with an auto link mouthpiece. Um, this is actually a link, but this is the standard mouthpiece, that, uh, standard ligature that came with it, where it's kind of similar to our, our standard metal one, you see, except it's got a single screw at the bottom. Personally, I don't like these either. I'm picky, aren't I? The reason I don't like these is uh, I don't think that they support the reed really that well, and to my mind, it doesn't sound that great. So that's why boop, I got rid of that one. Now, another option to consider is something that looks a bit like this. Uh, now, this is one that I've used for a long, long time. And uh, it's a, a combination of the two because it's a single single piece of metal with a single screw at the top. Um, but inside, I don't know if you can see it, it's got some customizable pins which you can use to support the reed. And that way you can configure those in a way that suits your particular mouthpiece and the sort of sound that you want to get. Quite expensive those, but uh, for, for me, for the mouthpiece I was using at the time, uh, it was a good choice. So, the basic to basically sum up here, this is your standard ligature. A simple upgrade is something like this, which is made by Rovner or any other brands, where we're using a fabric strap and a single screw at the top. Um, but you may also want to consider some of the other more fancy ones. The point is, experiment with ligatures to see the sort of sound that you get and find something that suits you and the style of playing that you're doing. I hope that's helpful to you. Good luck with it. Let me know, actually. Send me an email. Let me know how you get on with your ligatures and find, and let me know what works for you and, and how you feel the ligature that you like differs from something you've had before. Okay, good on you. I'll see you on the next one.